सबसे पहले वीडियोस को देखने के लिए चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और बेल आइकन को प्रेस करें। I mean, we talked about our founding fathers. I think they'd be turning in their graves right now if they knew that this is the this is the condition of what Article 19 has been brought down to in our constitution, which guarantees freedom of expression and thought. And what are they trying to? What are they objecting to? They're objecting to the fact, and I'm very. It, it is a very unfortunate fact, they are objecting to the fact that the armed forces of our country need to be protected by the Indian Film Censor Board. The world's largest standing army needs the Indian Film Censor Board as spokesperson for it because they are not able to tolerate the few mishaps that have happened under their watch, which unfortunately has dragged the spotlight away from a film which is about compassion, a film which is about empathy, a film which could not have been more gentle and tender in its critique of our institutions, whether it is the armed forces, or it's the government of India, or in fact, it's any, we live in intolerant, troubled times. And both these words joined together are what has caused us to think six times before we say anything, for, for filmmakers to censor themselves before they make their films, for writers not to write things, and for journalists who are outspoken to be gunned down in broad daylight. This is the tragedy of our country today. And what finally really means is that I made my application to Film Censor Board on the 15th of July. Today we are sitting, 15th of July 2018 is when I made my application to the Indian Film Censor Board. Today we are sitting in March of 2019, and I still do not have a Film Censor certificate. The um, FCAT ordered the CBFC to give us a film censor certificate, but they yet they still have had some problems. Um, they found some te technicality upon which they have uh, objected and sent the file back to the FCAT. Now this is the third time it's going back to FCAT. So it went from censor board to FCAT, FCAT back to censor board, censor board back to FCAT, now F FCAT back to censor board when they ordered it, and now we are back from censor board to FCAT. I'm confusing myself, frankly, in this whole combination. I mean, it's ridiculous. So um, that's why there was a sigh of relief when we thought that we've got our certificate, you know, maybe we've preempted this whole thing, we shouldn't have really announced <laughs> because we don't know, you know, till that piece of paper. Um, and the irony of this is, of course, that I can run my film on YouTube today without anybody objecting. What do you say? What's your second question? Sorry. I think... <laughs> I think uh, the passion with which you've spoken obviously reflects the amount of time and effort that has gone into getting this even till here. Um, and I hope, as I hope everybody does, that uh, free speech and freedom of expression is not clamped down. This film gets to see the light of day finally, and you get that piece of paper in your hand. You asked me why, why this film. Yes, okay. But well, the reason I made this film, um, it, didn't, it didn't actually occur to me till I actually had finished making it. I think. The Kashmir issue, we are sitting on a tinderbox, as we know, with two nuclear armed nations facing each other, and Pulwama only showed us how fragile um, this alleged peace is. Um, Kashmir issue is not going to be solved by the bureaucrats in either Kashmir nor the separatists. Uh, I beg your pardon, the bureaucrats in New Delhi nor the separatists in Kashmir. Nor is it going to be solved by the kids who are throwing stones and picking up guns and causing dastardly acts like Pulwama. They are too trapped in their own histories. They haven't had the opportunities and the choices that young people have in the rest of the country. The Kashmir issue will be solved by young people of today, the millennials, who are sitting in our schools and colleges and who are the first time they've gone for jobs in their 20s, early 30s. Because these people are not carrying traumas of partition, nor are they carrying the, the burdens and the prejudices of their parents and grandparents' generation. These kids have, this is the biggest opportunity we have as a country today. They have relatively open minds, notwithstanding Arnab Goswami, who is 
poisonous and his whole ilk is poisonous. But notwithstanding the 24-7 barrage we get on television today, these are people who have relatively open minds, who can, if provided a narrative of compassion and empathy, which is what my film tries to do, try and ask a very simple question. It's a very simple question. What are they like? What are Kashmiris like? And the fact that we have to sit in India and ask, what are Kashmiris like, as if we are asking about an alien from another planet, shows how little information and how much government propaganda and media wash has alienated the populations of this grand nation with one of its most troubled and fragile parts. One of the parts which is a minority and also is contiguous borders with two of the most hostile nations towards us today. The flawed government policies that have brought us to this point, which have led us to alienating this entire nation, where children of 20 years old put bombs in a car and drive it into a convoy of uh, buses and massacre people. What have we brought them to? And the young people of today are the ones who can start, get up and ask the question. And I urge them, please go to Kashmir. Don't go to this Gulmarg and Pahilgam and do this boating and pony riding. But go into their villages. Speak to the people like I have. They are very warm, gracious, welcoming and hospitable. And understand. If not that, just watch my film. Um, <clears throat> so I play a woman whose uh, son has uh, seemingly vanished into thin air. And um, so she's one of the people, um, many people in Kashmir whose sons have disappeared. Um, why I wanted to do this film, or why this film. So Ashwin is very kind to share the film with me, the script with me, even before he cast me, and even offered to cast me. <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> but, uh, but when I read the film, the first thought that came to my mind is, oh my God, here is a man who knows Kashmir like nobody else that I've ever uh, come across before. We've made so many films on Kashmir. Uh, and they've been, some of them have been wonderful films, but um, they've always been sort of, um, you know, peppered with or sort of uh, uh, checkered with a lot of other um, things and, uh, you know, issues and, you know, uh, action or drama or love story or whatever. But here, I think, was a very simple film uh, that I read, uh, which talked about uh, the real Kashmir. Um, uh, the, the, you know, the, the, the people in Kashmir who, who are not leading dramatic lives, they're not, they're not uh, in the forefront, they're not in politics, they're not uh, on Twitter every day, but they're, they, live, they live in the villages. They don't have a voice. Uh, they have a lot of, um, they have a lot of uh, heartbreak that they've gone through. Um, and, um, and, and, and here is a film that speaks about their lives and them. And um, yeah, so this is why I felt that this film is so important that come what may, I would of course love to be a part of it, but even otherwise, this is a very important film that needs to be made. And um, hats off to Ashwin for bringing. Also, it's it's a film which is is not a very, you know, you see the trailer and you think, oh, it's a very serious film. It's, it's a wonderfully humorous film, apart from all the, uh, you know, other things in it. Uh, it is also a love story. Um, so it's it's so many things, and it really deserves to uh, get the census certificate and be watched by people. Uh, the other thing I feel very strongly about is about reality, truth, and facts. Truth has many faces. Your truth is different to my truth, but reality and facts are they exist. You can't wish them away. Not no matter what you do. So my feeling is if we can have discussions and debates in parliament, on television, here, there, everywhere, books come out about reality, um, about the reality of Kashmir particularly, why can't we have films on that? I'm a great believer in the healing power of truth. And I feel the, Kashmir, the people of Kashmir really deserve that in their lives today. They deserve acknowledgement of what they've gone through. They deserve to be understood they deserve to be healed and one of the ways we can do this apart from what uh, you know government outreach programs and all kinds of other things one of the ways we can do this is through cinema so this is that that is also why i feel this film is so so important and i i pray that uh, things go well for it as it goes along firstly good afternoon everyone thank you for coming but uh, you inspire 
uh, thank you for being you. Uh, the man on my right is the reason uh, I was grateful to him. I have a lot of respect and regard for him as a maker. I'm a huge fan of his film, Little Terrorist, which went to the uh, Academy Award. It was nominated. And I think we as a nation don't sometimes pay attention to the finer details. He was the youngest man to be nominated from India at the Oscars. I think we should just take a step back and <laughs> make light of that truth, like ma'am said, and uh, pay attention to the detailing his cinema has offered about the region. Coming to the region, he offered me a role which uh, my gurus all my life have told me to go away from the trend as an actor, and that's where the magic lies. It's very easy to stand here and say, how's Jajosh? Hi, sir. It's easy, I can do that, anybody can do that, any actor worth his sort. Uh, but to see the grey side of, everything has a grey side, there's a black and white to everything. Here's a filmmaker who's trying to tell you that uh, there are greys in the region which we need to pay attention to and which we need to know about, we have the right to know about, we should know about. When I shot in Kashmir one day, it's a small anecdote, I walked out in costume and the line producer told me, Sir, bahar mat jaiye, koi patthar phek dega. And I was aghast. I was like, if I'm wearing an Indian Army's costume, why will people... Uh, it's a very small thing, but it just gave me perspective about so many things which I had never thought of. And even as an actor, it was... Yeah, so I'm really grateful to him. And uh, I always will be, because I have a lot of love and regard for him as a filmmaker. And this film will always be special for me from that point of view. Also, he's an actor, and he's making his debut here, let's not forget, and he's done a really solid performance. I enjoy film as a director's medium, uh, but it's amazing to have a director who has a sense of the craft of acting, and when you'll see this film, you'll realize uh, why he manages to take out the performances that he does, because he himself is so good at it. Having said that, the child in me is a huge fan of Kulbushan Karbanda and Sony Razdan. So the moment I knew that they are in the film, I wanted to go there. I still have no idea how we are living in a world where so many people live the way they do. And that's all. It's just much, much more than what we get to see. And we should, like Ashwin said, we should be doing more, seeing more, talking more and watching more, making more films like this. Thank you for that. Okay, I am going to take a step back now, and uh, now the media, I'm going to open the floor to the media to ask them any questions that you'd like. Oh. अगर आप फिल्म और टीवी इंडस्ट्री में काम करना चाहते हो तो जॉइन फिल्म्स में बहुत सारे ऐसे वीडियोस अवेलेबल हैं जो आपके लिए हेल्पफुल होंगे चाहे आप एक्टर बनना चाहते हो राइटर डायरेक्टर फिल्म मेकर या सिंगर बनना चाहते हो काफी सेलिब्रिटीज भी अपने एक्सपीरियंस शेयर करते हैं तो इस चैनल को सब्सक्राइब कीजिएगा बेल आइकन को प्रेस कीजिएगा ताकि इस तरह के इंफॉर्मेटिव वीडियो आपको मिलते रहे